Hi, I'm at Westfield Park and Dam in Uxbridge, Massachusetts. Today I'm doing Wildflowers 101, Episode 39. Today we are looking at false hellebore. Hellebore nicknames are white hellebore, devil's bite, Indian poe, corn lily, and itchweed. False hellebore is in the lily family. It is a perennial and herbaceous. False hellebore blooms from late spring to summer. The flowers are white, green, to yellow. They are large branching clusters of flowers 12 to 25 inches long. Flowers are saucer shaped, six petals a half inch across. The clusters do droop. Leaves are large green leaves, oval clasping the stem. Strongly ribbed leaves lengthwise, six to 12 inches long, pointed at the ends. Leaves are whorled and alternate. Stems are green, grow two to eight feet, has downy hairy stems. The stem is stout and erect. Roots are thick, fibrous rhizomes. Fruits or capsules split into three sections at maturity will release numerous flat seeds that are half to one inch long. False hellebore habitats are wetlands, swamplands, wet woods, wet meadows, bogs, stream banks. They like clay, loam, and sand. They like to grow in full to partial sun. False hellebore is native to New England and other parts of North America. Pollinators are bumblebees, native bees, and some flies. Skunk cabbage is oftentimes mistaken for false hellebore. Here you can see the difference in the leaves. Warning, this plant is highly poisonous. Eating false hellebore will make you very sick. It is toxic to humans, pets, wildlife, and livestock. Get help immediately if ingested. Touching the plant can also cause rash and itching. I hope you have a chance to get out and see this cute little flower from spring to summer. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. Thanks for watching. See you next time.